Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. Today, I'm gonna talk about how you can grow spicier peppers at home. This video isn't about growing ghost peppers instead of jalapeno peppers. It's more about the factors that affect the heat level in your pepper pods. And I'll go over a few things you can do to grow spicier peppers in your garden. In case you didn't know, capsaicin is the chemical that is responsible for the pungency and how spicy your peppers are. The levels of capsaicin are highest in the white pith surrounding the seeds. And it is pretty well accepted that the role of capsaicin is to protect the seeds and the plant from fungus and pathogens. And I do want to dismiss a very common myth that growing your ghost peppers next to bell peppers will result in spicy bell peppers. This simply doesn't happen the first season anyways, and we do have a video on cross-pollination if that's a topic that you're interested in. There are two things that affect how spicy a pepper is. The first is genetics, which we don't really have any control over. Every plant has different genetics, and of course, the easiest way to grow spicier peppers would just be to select spicier varieties. The second thing is environmental conditions, and this is something that you as the home gardener has control over to some extent. So if you want to grow and harvest spicier peppers, the first thing you can do is make sure that you are harvesting at the optimal time. Capsaicin production increases as peppers mature, and after they reach that peak, capsaicin levels begin to decline. So harvesting at the right time is very important. If you harvest them too early or if you wait too long, the levels of capsaicin may not be at the optimal point. There was one study that focused strictly on cayenne peppers, and it showed that the optimal time for harvest was around 40 days. However, this is going to vary significantly depending on the variety that you grow. The best thing to do is just harvest them as soon as they are ripe, and don't leave them on the plant for too long. The next thing you can do to grow spicier peppers is to stress your plants. Now, generally speaking, stressed plants do produce more capsaicin than those that are not stressed. So increased temperatures, drought, and nutrition imbalances can all be factors that stress your plant and affect the levels of capsaicin in the pods. Capsaicin levels begin to accumulate around 10 days after flowers begin to form. So there's no need to stress your plants before this period, but if you want to experiment and withhold water from your plants, it's best to wait until after the pods begin to form. And studies have shown that water stressing is more effective in lower pungent varieties, so your jalapenos and serranos may respond differently to water stress than your ghost peppers. And while we're on the topic, there is evidence to support that increased nitrogen levels also results in spicier peppers. However, there is also some research showing that withholding nitrogen and stressing your plants that way also increases capsaicin. And fertilizing at home can be difficult enough for the home grower. So we don't recommend giving your plant excess nitrogen to grow hotter peppers. Instead, we really encourage you to provide your plant with the optimal growing conditions and ensure that your plant is getting enough nutrients. And the best way to do this is to be mindful of any deficiencies that your plant may be having. And I'll leave a link below to some articles on Pepper Geek that may help you determine whether your plant has a nutrient deficiency. The next thing you can do to grow spicier peppers is to make sure that your temperatures are optimal. We've grown peppers later in the season where the overnight temperatures were much cooler and those pods were not as spicy as they could have been. You'll want to start seeds at the right time and also make sure that your daytime temps are around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Generally speaking, those who live in warmer climates have an easier time growing spicier peppers. And peppers love sun. Make sure that your plants are getting enough sun. If you're trying to grow plants in the shade, they may not be producing the healthiest, spiciest pods. And there are some studies showing that those who live at higher elevations actually grow spicier peppers as well. And this is very interesting, but the research is pretty inconclusive. It's not clear why that might be the case. Another thing you can do at home is to check the varieties of the plants you're growing. Many times we have mixed up seed cells or seeds, or we've gotten seeds from an online supplier and they were not the plant they were supposed to be. So if you're trying to grow spicy peppers at home and you take a bite into one of the pods and it's not spicy at all, it's possible that something got mixed up. Because remember, there are non-spicy varieties of many of our spicy favorites. This is a really interesting topic and there are a lot of research articles about it. However, there is a lot of conflicting research as well. There are just so many variables to consider when you think about the growing conditions of a plant and the different varieties and the sample size of these research studies. 
So if you have any experience stressing your plants or growing spicier pods at home, leave your experience in the comment below. Or if you've come across any research that has been very interesting in this topic, feel free to share that as well. And of course, we always encourage you to provide the optimal conditions for your pepper plants to grow. That will result in the happiest, healthiest plants with the highest number of pods and hopefully the spiciest peppers. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.